Hey guys, I hope you're all having the most amazing time out there. Uh, this is the video that you guys have been asking for for the longest of time. Um, these are the notes that you saw in my first date, so I decided to neaten them out for you and put it in this format. Um, I'm trying to make these videos as short as possible, so this video is just going to cover the DNA viruses and there is going to be a separate video for the RNA viruses. Also, I'm going to put a downloadable link for these notes in my description box so you guys can get um, your own version of these notes from there. You can either get it at the beginning of the video so that you can um, take your notes into it or you could take it at the end of the video for your reference. So let's begin. Um, the first thing that I want you guys to notice over here is that on the right side I have an envelope and on the left side I have a leaf. Now this is really important to remember because once you've picturized this, you're never going to forget it. The right side has the righteous people that keep themselves covered in an envelope. And on the left side, there are these naked people who don't like getting covered. So on the right side, we have herpes, hepedna, and pox. These are the viruses that are DNA and they are enveloped. Herpes, hepedna, pox. Herpes, hepedna, pox. Herpes, hepedna, pox. Herpes, hepedna, pox. Please do remember that herpes and hepedna have an icosahedral envelope, whereas pox has a complex envelope. Amongst the herpes viruses, we have the strains 1 to 8, which is herpes simplex 1, 2, varicella zoster virus, Epstein Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, human herpes virus 6 and 7, and um, human herpes virus 8. Then we have the hepedna virus, which is relevant because of hepatitis B. And then we have the pox virus. The pox virus used to be responsible for smallpox, which got, which got eradicated. It's also responsible for cowpox and molluscum contagiosum. Coming to the left side, we have the parvovirus, the papilloma virus, the polioma virus, and the adenovirus. The parvovirus strain B19 is the one that's responsible for erythema infectiosum or the fifth disease. It also causes aplastic anemia in children with sickle cell disease. Then we have the papilloma virus. The papilloma virus is what we commonly know as the human papilloma virus. It causes um, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, cervical cancer, and the serotypes 1, 2, 6, and 11 are responsible for the warts, and the one responsible for cancer are 16 and 18. After that, we have the polioma virus. Do not confuse the polioma virus with the virus that causes poliomyelitis. That virus is an RNA virus. This is a DNA virus. Polioma virus consists of the JC and the BK virus. JC virus is responsible for progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy in patients with HIV. And BK virus is responsible for nephropathy and renal failure in patients who are immunocompromised after renal transplant. Then we have the adenovirus. The adenovirus is responsible for acute hemorrhagic cystitis febrile pharyngitis, pneumonia, and conjunctivitis. After that, I've put down here a small summary of the differentiating features of each of these viruses. First off, the thing that we already discussed earlier is that they all have an icosahedral envelope except for pox. One more thing about pox is that it carries its own DNA-dependent RNA polymerase which means that it can replicate outside the nucleus because the reason uh, because of which all of these uh, DNA viruses need the nucleus to replicate is that they don't have their own DNA dependent RNA polymerase which Pox does. So Pox replicates outside the nucleus which is the second point here as well. All replicate in the nucleus except Pox. Pox is outside the box. Moving on to the third point, the third point says that all of them are double-stranded uh, DNA viruses except for parvovirus and hepatitis B virus. 
parvovirus is a single stranded virus and hepatitis b virus is almost double stranded it's almost almost double stranded but then there is a piece of one of its strands that's missing so it's an uh, incomplete double stranded dna virus after that we have the viri that are circular that have a circular genome amongst them we have the polioma virus the papilloma virus and the hepedna virus now i wanted to say that other than hepedna the ones that have a circular genome have an o in the middle but then pox came along and ruined everything so polioma papilloma and hepedna have a circular dna and uh, parvo, adeno, herpes, and pox have a linear DNA. Now guys, just like uh, if you remember the enveloped um, DNA viruses, you'll automatically remember the naked ones. Uh, the same case applies here. If you just remember the circular ones, you'll automatically know which ones are linear. Then all of them, they get their envelope from the plasma membrane. As they're budding out from the cell, they acquire their envelope from the plasma membrane, except for herpes. Herpes gets its um, envelope from the nuclear membrane. So herpes likes keeping it private. It likes to cover up. So it takes its, nuclear, it takes its envelope before leaving the cell from the nuclear membrane. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let me know how you find it in the comments down below. Uh, RNA viruses are going to be covered in the next video. Bye.